The small community of Santa New Mexico is located in San Miguel County along the Pecos River, and it was once home to Maria Adela Gonzalez Sena, also known as Delia, my daughter's great-great-grandmother. Delia was born on November 8, 1932, and lived in Sena until the year 1957. She married her husband, Celestriano Sena, on August 22, 1951. She is the mother of six children, all of whom were born in different houses in Sena. I met him there because we live in the same town, and then we started dating for five years. Just imagine, five years. And then we got married. I went with him to Colorado, and we got married over there. At the age of four, Delia's father died and she moved into her grandmother's house. And this is where she spent the majority of her childhood and young adult life. Her grandmother's house was described as being rectangular and made out of rocks and adobe. The main feature of the house was the wood-burning stove. It was used for heating the house, cooking food, and warming water from the ditch. Delia described a typical morning. Every morning, my grandma got up to light the fire in the wood-burning stove and every day would start a pot of beans. Then we make tortillas. Every day there were tortillas. Then we did our chores. My sister and I would take turns cooking, cleaning, and gardening. Delia described her childhood as one of happy days. Back then, we worked hard. It was hard work, but we liked it. The house had no electricity or running water. It was lit up using kerosene lamps and candles, and the acequia behind the house provided the water. Each day, we had to go outside to collect water from the ditch. The hard part was cleaning the ditch. It was so hard. Those poor men with the shovels all day. The yearly cleaning of the acequias was truly a community effort. Back then, Delia emphasized the fact that everyone had a part in helping the family survive and everyone helped each other. Delia and her family lived off the land. They grew chili, corn, and beans, among other crops in their garden. The garden fed off of irrigation water from the acequia behind the house. The acequia was part of their everyday lives, providing water for bathing, cooking, cleaning, and most importantly, irrigation. The church and the Catholic faith was a foundation of life in the town of Sena. This was evident with every marriage, baptism, burial, and funeral. Delia recalled her grandma from her dad's side going to church every afternoon to pray. She would go with her sister to church every day. They would go to the church and pray. She would go to the church and ring the bell to let people know she was going to pray the rosary. She also spoke of her uncle being a part of the penitentes. Delia told a story of one particular hot summer day that New Mexico is so famous for. The land was scorched and the crops were thirsty. We would walk the saints down Main Street, up and down Senna. Everyone had a saint. My saint was the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and my mom's was Santa Rita. We would walk the saints, singing hymns and praying for rain. It's getting bad. This world is getting very bad. A lot of killing is happening, and it's getting bad. I don't know when it's going to stop, but it is awful. Very, very different of what I was growing up. Very different. But what can we do? Just pray. <laughs>